Hey everyone, hope you're doing well tonight. I've been meaning to make this video for a few weeks now. Uh, Mr. John Lux reached his 100 subscriber mile mark. Uh, congratulations. And is doing a very generous giveaway. Um, he wants us to pick a lock on camera and while picking it, tell something interesting. So I figured this would be a great time to show off my new to me Yale push style padlock. Uh, this particular one I think is uh, it's very early 1900s if not uh, the end of the 1800s uh, based off of some of the research I've done um, I think this is maybe one of the first runs because all of the newer ones have this where it's kind of like stamped in and then the lettering is kind of raised out of it whereas this one is just straight stamped into the shackle and then nothing on the core but yeah pretty cool little lock I'm pretty sure this key is not the original uh, um, that I haven't been able to find, but this one actually says security right there, and there's no real markings that I can find on the on this part of the key, except for the numbers four, eight, six, I believe, right here. It's really hard to see. Um, it worked okay when I first got it. I, I also got a ultrasonic cleaner and s took this all apart, and I'll post some pictures here in the video showing you of it torn apart um, put it in there I know some of you guys are purists and would have preferred I left the patina alone but I had to shine it up it'll the patina will come back eventually especially after me handling it and playing with it uh, anyways don't go there um, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this is my new to me padlock. I, I love these things. These things are pretty slick. I think uh, If I can get this key to work like I said, I think I'm gonna end up having to make another key for it because after I Buffed it and everything and cleaned everything up. This key is just not Working Quite like it should it does work. It's just uh, Not the best um, I'll show you pictures of what I had to do to fix it up because inside there's a, a spring bar there's a screw right there that holds a spring like a leaf spring uh, across here and so when you twist it back when you twist it back it automatically starts going down and clicks in like that that was broken so I actually had to make my own and I really don't have any good supplies of spring steel so what I did was hold on I got some more here it was a, a bigger one than this but I took one of these uh, binder clips these are spring steel I just cut it up formed it I'll put pictures uh, in the video so you can see but yeah Cut that up and it worked perfect so even though John Locke said that the life hacks have to not be picking related there's a freebie because um, I mean my life's pretty boring I go to work I pick locks on my free time Sundays is church and pool league I am on a billiards league. That's fun. I, that's my other hobby and I don't know. wouldn't really call it love of my life or anything, but it is something that I'm fairly good at and really enjoy doing. Um, as far as interesting stories go, uh, I really can't think of anything off the top of my head that... Is all that interesting? I'm sure there's something. I'm just not thinking of anything. On um, do, do you guys see in the background? I got my my Funko locksmith Fallout. Now I feel like a real YouTuber. 
Oh man, yeah, he's a cool little character. I've been wanting one of those for a while. So let's see if you guys don't know if you haven't seen the million other videos on YouTube regarding this lock you don't turn it and obviously you saw me open it right now uh, after you get the pins lined up it pushes so you have to pull the shackle to get tension you don't use a tensioning tool um, but it is pretty oh, what do you say some of those pins are pretty low so I'm going to use it just a shallow hook to see if I can't get this puppy open on camera. I'll give you guys a better angle here. Let's see. Yeah, so what is interesting that I can talk about? I really don't know, man. I guess that is pretty, my life's pretty boring. And all the life hacks I can think of right now being, would involve luck picking. So, I don't know. I mean, life hacks, man, I don't know. I am in the air conditioning and heating business, so I do for a living. So I will say, as a life hack, you guys wanna keep your air conditioners running for a long time? change your dang filters on a regular basis they're cheap and it just takes a few minutes to change some of the filters that i've seen out there are so bad and so clogged up that they're sucked halfway into the ducting and that is so bad for your air conditioning units and as expensive as those things are and as hard as they are to get right now with the supplies and demands of everything and shortages yeah take a few extra minutes to, uh, to change those filters TV shows I don't know um, probably like a lot of you I'm watching Loki right now which I'm enjoying it was a it's a good show uh, not last week but the week before Oh, wait, there's a new episode out tonight. I haven't watched that one yet. Uh, yeah. What was the one? Spoiler alert, so you might want to fast forward if, if you haven't watched, but the one where they were stuck on that planet about to explode or whatever, be hit by the meteor or the moon or whatever, that thing, that seemed like such a waste of time. And besides showing off how much of a narcissist he is, Falling in love with himself. I don't know. I didn't get much out of that episode. I thought all those guards that were chasing him around there should be worried about getting off the planet instead of stopping other people. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Got it. Man, I did a good job on that spring tension because that sucker is in there. So, yeah. That is my new to me Yale push lock. Oh man, I I think I'm going to try to what is it called? Cure this. It's kind of like a cast iron skillet where you oil it and then you have to put it in the oven. But I'd have to buy a a cheap toaster oven that I could do it because my girl saw me putting a. <laughs> A lock in her oven. <laughs> she probably wouldn't be too happy with me. But yeah. We'll see. This thing. Oh, what did I just do to it? Oh, ain't that special. What did I just do? I think that spring that I'm that I made for it isn't perfect and if you don't if you turn it wrong it hangs up I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board on that one that would really suck if you guys just saw me break this thing on camera oh, I'm sure I didn't but that is really weird
Hmm. What the heck did I just do this thing? Thing. I mean, oh, I know what I did. Dummy. I pulled it too far, and one of the other pin stacks must have dropped in there and locked it up semi open, which is probably why it's not meant to be picked open. Well, I guess no lock's really meant to be picked open, so I bet you we can fix that right now by. And if I had the original spring in there, it probably wouldn't allow you to get it that far back. So I guess, which one would it be? I guess it could be any of them, really. I guess I don't need to tension it because it's already tensioning itself. I should probably try pushing it to tension it. Two picks for the price of one. Oh, we'll see anyways. Should have probably already seen the pictures of the lock taken apart but these pins i don't know if it's by design or if it's just the machining the tooling they had back in the day but they're almost like really fine serrations it does not sound happy i'm gonna reset it Screw up. There we go. <laughs> All right, lesson learned on that one. So she is back together now. Yep, that's what it was. Anyways, uh, Mr. John Locks, congratulations on the 100 subscribers. I'm sure you'll have many more very soon. Everyone else, thanks for watching, and you guys have a blessed night. See you later.